Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Minecraft. It's Sticks here and guys, we are chilling at the raid farm. So I did about an hour's worth of AFKing in here. Um, I think it stopped just before my hour was up. I don't know why or how it stopped, but the raid stopped coming. But anyways, I just want to see how many emeralds we got. Okay, that's pretty damn cool. I've just cleared out all of these chests back here. So we got a lot of totem, totem of undyings and banners and saddles. It's all looking fantastic, guys. Look at all of these awesome things. Okay, cool. Um, I've just got a bunch of emeralds here, so that's fantastic. Uh, we should craft these up into blocks and take them home with us, because now, wow, this is actually so many emeralds. We can trade for a very long time with all of these. Okay, very cool. Uh, this is good, because now we can, we can obviously do lots of trading, and I won't have to do any trading to get emeralds for a long time now. Okay, that is really, really awesome. I'm going to take these back to the base, and then we can get on with today's episode. I just thought I'd show you guys that. And now, guys, we are back in the base. Last episode, we made the battle station. Now, guys, I just want to say sorry for the big break in videos. Uh, I got really, 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 really busy with real life. So, yeah, we uh, we didn't have any time to make videos. We were all over the place, and we actually went away for a weekend. So, yeah, I, I pretty much ran out of time to do any work. Um, anyways, guys, let's work on today's episode. Let's jump down here with our fish and our dolphins and turtles. Still need to get more turtles and more dolphins and more fish. That would be, that'd be great. I think we've only got two dolphins left and we had three. Yeah, there's two. They, they seem to be living now that there's two air gaps there for them. Um, anyways, guys, we are going to make a room of color today. We've already made one of them, but this one is going to be 10 times better. So this is going to house all of the colored blocks. So... All of the wool from the wool farm up there is going to drop down here. And we're going to have all the concrete in here. And pretty much all the blocks you can color, like terracotta and things. And also, we're going to have a way of generating dye. So, uh, we need to dig out a floor here and go this direction. Um, I'm hoping to link this up to the storage system. Um, actually, we may not do that at all. Though that would be really handy if we could just chuck, like when we come back, we could chuck a whole bunch of concrete in and it would go into the storage system. Uh, maybe just for concrete, since we use concrete so often, we might put uh, bring the water in this direction and have it go around the system just for concrete. I will see. I will see. Okay, what we need to do here, guys, is dig out a bit of a space uh, for the storage part of it, uh, which will come first, and then a back room further back than that where uh, we'll be where we generate dyes and things. So we can have the two tall plants in there for four of the different colors. And then we're going to have to, obviously we're gonna have to make cocoa bean farms and things like that, but um, they're not all gonna fit in this area. So yeah, we'll, we'll just see what happens for now, guys. What is in here? I think it's glass. Yes, glass, lots and lots of glass. Okay, let's, let's dig out a nice big space here. Wow, lag, lag in a single player world. Come on, Minecraft. Okay, let's dig out some space, guys, get a floor in and get some storage going in here. Alrighty guys, we have the start of our room here. It's dug out now, we've got 16 chests along each side, one for each color. This is gonna be much like the other color room. So we're gonna have three high on the chests. Oh, I run out of chests, how have, I, how have I done that? I got so many chests going around guys, don't worry. 16 times four is 64. That's how I've run out of chests. That's exactly the right amount of chests. Okay, so I'm gonna need one more stack to finish this off gonna be three high um, I'm going to stack these manually I'm not gonna have the system come over I was thinking about it but no it's not gonna happen so anyway at the end here we may have the little die creating room with the flowers uh, the the four high the two high flowers and uh, yeah you can just bone meal those so we might have a bunch of bone meal here and you can just get lots of dye because we're gonna store the dye the wool the glass the terracotta and the concrete powder and the concrete in here uh, we're not going to bother with glass panes. They can just go in the glass box itself. And the carpets can also go in with the wool. And um, glazed terracotta, I think there'll probably just be one chest at the end or something. Because I hardly ever use that stuff. So we can all just go in one chest. It'll be it'll be fine. We don't need that. Um, and then clear glass, because there's white glass and then there's clear glass. Uh, that itself will have its own chest at the end as well. Probably a couple of chests, because sometimes I make a lot of glass. Okay, anyways, guys, let's nip over to the old one and see what we did there and see if we can transfer some of the ideas to here. Alrighty, guys, everything is a bit broken down here, but as you can see, this was the room of color the first time. What we had was each 
floor uh, layer here with the color that it is. And I think this looks pretty cool. So we may use the same design over there, just with the concrete. In fact, that does look really cool. And that room, I think, may, might be one block wider on each side, so two blocks wider. We'll have to find out. But anyway, that's basically what we had down here, guys. This is the old storage room, so we wanted to move all of this stuff over. Now, do we have anything in here? Yeah, we've got a bit of everything. Okay, um, yeah, we need to move all of these dies over and things like that. Um, the roof is really close and boring, so we'll probably do a cooler roof. And I don't know about the end here. Obviously, we're going to have maybe the flowers back there, so we might have to do something different there. Okay, let's let's um let's do this. I'm gonna rip this up, guys, and actually use this stuff um, over there. That would be quite helpful. Alrighty, guys, let's take a walk in. This is what we've got so far: quartz on the floor. We've got a glass with the lanterns underneath lighting it up. I don't think I like a lantern every block though, so we might have to change that out. Make these like um, stairs or something. Oh, I'm not sure. We may fix that. Or we may leave it. I mean, it might grow on me, to be honest. It just looks a little bit funny repeating. Anyway, ignore that. We got all the colors on the floor, guys. We can take these torches out now. I think this is all going to be lit enough from those down there. I will check that, actually. Let's take this out. Let's look at the light level. Block is 12. Yeah, it's just completely fine. Take this out. Yeah, the light is, the light is great, actually. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So that light is enough um, to light up the whole floor here, which is good. It keeps everything lit up. Um, what I'm going to do, guys, is probably get this stuff and put it on the roof as well. We could make it a bit of a dome. Oh, that'd be cool. I mean, like like a yeah, like a, a dome going over the top here. Man, we get massive lag looking over there. I still haven't found out what that is. Um, okay, yeah, let's get some more of these colored concrete blocks and maybe make a dome here. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, maybe on the floor we could put like the concrete powder. I, I am not sure. But anyways guys, that's it What I'm gonna do is go to the old place get all of the item frames and all of the things in the item frames and put them back in here uh, So that we know where everything goes. That will be fantastic Let's carry on with the colorful room of color Awesomeness. That's that's not its official title. That's just what I'm calling it right this minute Alrighty guys, we only have three more rockets left, so we can head up to our super duper station. No, we don't want food, we don't want nothing. That would be bad. Okay, rockets, here we go. This should give us 32 rockets, I believe. Here we go, stock up on some rockets here, and when, when I use another two, I can come and get more. Actually, let's just grab them now, we'll switch them into one pile in a second. Okay, very good, very good, guys, fantastic. Oh, I love this thing now. You can come and get ender pearls, although I've not used my ender pearls yet, but when I do redstone, I'm sure I'll use them to get out. And we've got enough food going up. Okay, cool, that is awesome, guys. I love the battle station. We don't need to switch armor or get any shulkers. We don't actually have that many shulkers. And uh, we don't have that many ender chests. Oh, yeah, we do. I made heaps. Fantastic. There's heaps in my ender chest as well, because we need to keep... A bunch of them around okay cool that, that 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 is awesome let's head down into the room of color and see what we've done so far guys here we go in here i've started doing this design here i did not want to click on that that's going to be there and we're going to have that there but um, i need to get in and out of here all the time so that's open for now both sides uh so we got all of the labels in now guys i had to change a few of these because like this was uh bone meal because uh it only became white dye in 1.14 i believe so we had to convert it again Right, there's nothing in any of these chests, but I've got all the terracottas, I've got the red dyes, the red wools, and on the side we have the concrete, the concrete powder, and the glass, which I'll probably use this side more than that side, although I do come and grab dyes quite often, so I'm hoping to get a lot of dyes filled up in here, which is fantastic. Oh yeah, and uh, we have the glass here, normal glass, I'm going to have normal terracotta here. Should I? I should definitely switch sides. <laughs> that is... That is silly, because the glass is on this side. We should definitely put the glass over here. Oh, let's click that back in there. And just, just so you know, guys, if you want to name things, what they are actually called, um, if you just stick an item in here, the name will not show up. So I all I did was go to the anvil and put a space on either side of the word, word so it still sits in the middle. You get that little bit of extra gray box on the side there, but that's okay. You get the actual name then, and you don't have to um, name it something different. Okay, guys, right. Let's carry on. What was I doing, guys? Completely lost. Oh, yeah, we need to get a bunch of dyes and we need to get everything in here. Let's go and clean out the old room. Actually, you know what? We do need to go to the room up there because we need more shulker boxes so we can bring all of the stuff here. Let's just get one, um, two. That, that, that'll, that, that should do. I don't think there's too much in those chests. Well, hello there, friends. Let's see what we got in here. A couple of diamonds. I placed that block down. How did I not see the diamonds? I am blind! 
Okay, let's just check that there's none other around. No, no more of these around. How did I miss that? I placed that lantern down. That is unreal, guys. Absolutely unreal. Well, anyways, seven diamonds for free. That's fun. That's always fun. Anyways, guys, since I got you here, let's take a look at the ceiling. It is fantastic. We got a nice little entrance here from out here. I think I might replace these with the blue because that... Actually, no, because that shows us that this is different. This is going into a different part here. Okay, anyway, you walk through this funny thing. The hallways are a little bit interesting because they're trying to cover up um, the redstone and things here. So we can't exactly just put whatever blocks we want wherever. Um, anyway, we come in here, guys. All the colors on the floor and everything. And the ceiling, guys. It is looking great. I really, really love it. I went through a few different shapes, but I ended up with this one. Just like a nice, a nice sort of little little bit of a circle not a very high arching thing or whatever so yeah we got the we got the in rods going along the ceiling there as well which just lights it up it doesn't look as good without them guys trust me it's not lit up enough but now that it is it looks great uh the only problem is i got spaces up here to deal with i'm not sure what we're gonna do about that um i can put some slabs in of some description or some stairs but i can't get these colors right on top of these because they won't open again uh so yeah that's that's the only issue i've just started digging out a place back here so that we can put in our flowers out here so we'll have the two tall flowers and if i can think of anything else any other ways we get these colors um i'm not too sure we'll just have to have the yeah the the dyes in here from the other farms that we have obviously we can get mountains of green dye and obviously lime dye just comes from the crossing the white the white dye with with green so we can get a bunch of this stuff anyways let's let's carry on guys this is starting to look really oh, i love this ceiling this is so much cooler than the last room that we built the last color room which just had the floor this has the floor and the ceiling oh the ceiling it's so cool i love it so guys welcome to the flower forest this is where we have our flower farm it's up here it grows a lot of flowers it grows all of these different types of flowers right here which is fantastic and there's seeds in here you can't put seeds in a pot so I didn't. Uh, we got we got a couple of foxes in our little garden here, a few parrots making a lot of random noises. But anyways, guys, we've got a bunch of flowers here. So what I'm going to do is actually turn this on. I think we may be low on bone meal. I should have brought a lot of bone meal with me. Let's just switch this thing on. And as you can hear, guys, it makes a lot of noise. So we may just move away from that, but as you can see, up the top here, we'll have a bunch of flowers coming through soon. They come through in big bunches like that. And then they all get sorted slowly. Hopefully, anyway. And yeah. I'm going to take a bunch of these flowers back. I'm going to fill up my flower pack in here. My little flower shop box. We'll fill this up with a lots of... With, with each... At least one stack of each flower that we make in this farm. And hopefully we get a bunch of dyes in our... In, in our, our room of color as well. Which will be fantastic. Alright, I will be right back with, uh, this nonsense. Alrighty, guys, so that flower trip didn't actually do too much for our dye supplies, to be honest. We got, we got a bit of pink, so we got that. I got a, I got a bit of magenta, I just got one stack, because I don't think I'm going to use that very often. Did we get some purple? No, we didn't even get purple, so, I mean, yeah, and I got some light grey, so that wasn't really that great. We've got the black dye in here, I had a whole, um, shulker box full, basically, of, um of ink sacks and then i changed two of them into gray dye so we have four here fantastic so we got a bit of a bit of stuff in here and some of these are pretty empty to be honest so i'm not really sure um how to get a lot of these obviously we can get green we can get lime pretty easy yellow we can get from there so i'm gonna do some bone mealing now in our little room that i've just created down here we got a few more of these because there's chest behind there so we have to use that to get some depth in the build here, I uh, would just have this little room here where you can just come grab some bone meal and bone meal away. And then we just get bunches of this. And then all you do is change this into the dye. So we can get a lot of red dye, a lot of yellow dye. And I think, do these, what, what color do these go? I've forgotten now. So we can get magenta from them and peonies give us pink. Okay, cool. So let's just bone mail up a bunch of stuff here guys get a bunch of dye and i will try and get at least two or three stacks of each color in here just so in future we don't have to do this as often but yeah it's it's looking pretty stunning in here i actually really like this ceiling i know i've said that before but i could just look at this thing for like hours it's mesmerizing you just walk through and you feel like you're in a different world 
That is fantastic. Alrighty, guys, we got a bunch of colors in here now. We have dyes for pretty much everything now. We've got a bunch of every color now, so that's pretty cool. We even got the lime and the yellows and the oranges and... Oh, no, I've turned this. How am I ever going to get it back to what it's supposed to look like? Right, I'm going to have to get a piece out of here now. Which way is it supposed to go? That way, isn't it? Yes, I've done it correctly, guys. There we go. Okay, that looks better. Um, I hate turning them. It really bugs my tiny bit of OCD that I have. Anyways, guys, I moved the terracotta here from over there as well. We don't we only have almost one chest here. But those are all in. We have the glass here as well. I don't think we have any glass. No, we need to smelt up a lot of glass and just store that there. But that should be good. Everything's in, guys. Looking fantastic. All of this down here is in. And I've just put... Um, up here we can still open these top chests because these are just slabs quartz slabs up there and then i've put white concrete behind the rest of this and down the bottom we have lights so that's let everything up guys looking fantastic now we have all the wool down here now what i want to do is actually have an automatic sorting system just for the wool so i did not want to do that let's place that back i wanted to get through here so out the back here that's the big storage system now just in this area i'm going to clear out some space and for the wool we are going to have a bit of an automatic system coming down here so if i just clear this out we won't be able to have the lights on this side so i may have to move the lights up to this level actually i'm going to do that on the other side so it all matches don't worry uh these bottom ones are going to be the wool so we're going to have to have hoppers going into them and a bit of a sorting system on top but uh yeah i will figure that out we have a bunch of hoppers in our chest from when we broke the other storage system we broke it down so we have this shulker box here full of hoppers so these chests are going to have hoppers going into them like so and we will sort out all the wool into those which will be great uh because upstairs i will just jump up there and show you guys really quickly oh man lots of random stuff in my inventory um let's fly up here all the way to the top and smack into the sheep this is our sheep farm it's very loud full of sheep and yeah we've been using it lately to make banners and things and we do actually use it quite frequently but um i leave it turned off most of the time we do this there is a dispenser down there with shears in it and the shears get filled up from here and since we've made this thing we have not gone through one bit of shears and uh it's it's made a lot of wool like these these chests here have all the wool and stuff now i've used a bit of the white so that's about the only thing that we don't have much of but it's starting to build up again now that i'm not using it as much but yeah look at all of this so basically guys i wanted to take this wool down there automatically sort it for us and i think that'll be really cool so yeah let's get some sort of system in place to get the wool from here down to there so i don't have this random storage here and then we can get rid of this silly little level here with chests on it and stuff we want to get rid of that because that shouldn't be there it makes it look rubbish okay also slimes everywhere hate them die freaks die alrighty guys if we just quickly head around the corner here we should see that we have a system installed here now so we have the sorting system here with all the different wool colors in it all ordered the same as around the other side and just up here we have a hopper now what i'm going to do guys i think is bring a minecart down here so we can limit the amount of hoppers so we'll bring a chest minecart or a hopper minecart whichever one we feel is best um, a hopper minecart can only carry five stacks of things but it can also i mean it, it can also pick up items very quickly out of a chest so yeah i don't sh i'm not sure which one we want to do but we'll have an unloading system here and it will go into the system and then nicely along and uh, sort through all this and if there's anything weird gets in the system it can go in this chest at the end okay fantastic guys let's get this going oh yeah and this guy escaped from the system a long time ago and he's been running around the base so uh, he's been surviving a good long time i mean i don't think slimes go for them I i'm not sure but they they seem to hang out around the back of the sorting system this this guy and uh he he's he's surviving he just hangs out with me sometimes so that's pretty cool he's uh gone all the way over there he likes the room of color well the top of it anyway ha have fun guy have fun Alrighty guys, the system should be in now. We need to go around the side. These gaps are way too small to get into. Okay, so we have a loading system here. Anything that goes into this chest, this hopper minecart will pick up. Uh, when it um, has enough items in it, which I've only set it to about a stack and a bit, but it's not going to get all of one item at once, so it's, it's going to take a while to fill up that amount. Uh, let me see if I can make my way over there so we can have a quick look at the redstone. Um, right here. It's comparator on subtract mode and we've got a 
hopper here with one stack in it. So once it gets um, a power that is greater than that from here, there's a detector rail under there. Um, when this fills up enough, oh, there's two hoppers in there. Fantastic. Let's take those out before they go into the system and we never see them again. Uh, this will pull back and let it out. And then it should go down the track. Oh, and I've forgotten some tracks. That is that is terrible. We almost we almost had a malfunction in the system, but we caught it. Fantastic. Let's get these out. This should be enough to fill in that gap. Yes. There we go. Those are all lit up now. Okay, cool. Let's put these back. And let's take a trip down the down the line and see where this minecart track goes. So it does go out that way quite a bit because below me uh, we're going to actually build things. So I wanted to keep this out of the way. So if we follow this track down here, the minecart will come down here with all of its goodies and it should bring them... Oh, I keep hitting my head. That is very annoying. If we come around here, that should bring us out down to the other side of the color room, which is just there. We have a little unloading system here, which is um, a hopper under there. Under this block, there is a comparator. And when there's an item going through this, it turns off these uh, lines here. And then this comes into the sorting system, which is right there. Okay, we should we should check this thing out in action, I think. So let's put these back. No, actually, we'll fly down here once we set it off. Let's go back up to the top now. Okay, guys, my guess is one harvest won't be enough to set this off. I'm not so sure. Let's click this on. It should start sharing all the sheep. Let's go down, and all these hoppers should be taking their items through. I'll have to move all these chests here um, on my own in a second. But what I want to see are the items coming into here. Okay. And this is picking them up. Yes, I see. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought would happen. So uh, it's not going to go until it gets more than like a stack and a bit all added up together so it might take a little while to get that that's why i put a chest here instead of a hopper so you cannot pick up this yellow now but hopefully when it comes back it will pick up the yellow i'm wondering if this is enough to cope with the machine i'm pretty sure it's going to be because once they've all been shorn it uh it takes a little while to why is there no more blue coming through very weird hopefully it will come through maybe it's just stuck in there uh, once they've all been shorn it takes them a while to eat again and get more thing it's just that they've been sitting there doing nothing for ages so yeah, we really need this blue to get some more blue in here, but I think it's just stuck in the system. But there we go, guys. It's off. There was enough blue. They only needed eight, so now this is filling up. Now that should go down to the bottom and start unloading, so let's quickly fly down there and check that out at the other end. Fly in here. The minecart probably beat us here. It's actually quite quick. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. No, it's not here yet. Wow, I bet that was annoying, you guys. I missed a bit of track here, and I did not even notice. Y you go over there. There we go. Fantastic. Now let's check out the unloading. It should unload all of these items out into the hopper. And they should be sorting into the chest down here. So let's go to green. We should see items coming into the green chest. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, wow. That is all finished, guys. Let's spin that back around. I'm going to click on those a lot because they're just big enough so that you can't click on the chest without actually thinking about it. Okay. And when this is empty, it should take off. Let's go. Let's see. There we go, and it goes back up. So guys, that's all the time we have in this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next episode.